But now I want to take you back to our top story. Those big protests in Puerto Rico, demonstrators are filling the streets once again. Look at this. They're shutting down a major highway in the capital, and they say they won't rest until Governor Roseo resigns. CNN's Gustavo Valdez is there, and he joins me now live. Uh, so, Gustavo, I want to ask you, I mean, clearly we know the content of these messages. They are offensive to pretty much everyone, and obviously by the size of these crowds, the growing crowds, they have offended so many people there. What do they want to see happen now? They definitely want the governor to resign now. That is the message they want to send to La Fortaleza, which is the government house here in Puerto Rico. To give you uh, an idea of the magnitude of this protest, the street behind me is a six-lane avenue that filled up around 8 o'clock in the morning, and it has not stopped. We are at the back end of this protest, thousands of people with signs. Many of those have used that offensive language used on those texts uh, discovered not long ago, and appropriating those words, saying, okay, you can call us whatever you want. That is not true. You are a corrupt governor. That is the message they're sending, and they want him to be gone as soon as possible. Many of them very upset that when the, the governor spoke to the, to, the, to the state on Sunday night, he only announced that he is resigning from his post as the president of the party and won't seek re-election. They say that is not enough. He needs to be gone. Let me give you an example of some of the people who are protesting. We've seen people from many ages, including children. Alan is here with her mother. She has a sign asking the governor to go. Why is it important for young people like yourself to be here marching? For our futures, like, we, we need these duties and uh, everything that we need for our futures. They, they don't care about it. They rob a lot of money from the schools. They have closed a lot of schools. Kids without all of those things, we can't get works. We can't, we can't, we can't go on. We need that. And, and to send a message. Um, our mother doesn't speak much Spanish. ¿Por qué vino usted? ¿Por qué cree que es importante que esté su hija acá? Estamos este, apoyando el país, eh, la educación, la salud del país. Han robado todo el dinero. El she said that they want to be here because of the education of, and the health of the country. ¿Qué opina de los textos del gobernador? What do you think about the governor's text? Pues mira, esos textos humillaron al país, se burlaron de las muertes de, del huracán María, se han burlado de Puerto Rico completamente, de la mujer, homofobia ante los She's saying that they abused, they made fun of the the country, they made fun of the many dead, more than 4,000 people dead over the hurricane. Maria, that is not acceptable, the language used. And something very interesting, Will, many of the people I've spoken with say they had a good uh, impression of the governor. He had somehow uh, managed to uh, handle the Maria situation, controversial or not, but the, the island, the residents were behind him. Not express a, a lot of uh, 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 anger with him for the, the situation with Maria, but after this text were revealed, that's when the whole island has turned all, uh, against the governor. We have heard from very few people who still support him. Many of them say that the problem the governor has is that he is he has lost that connection to his people, and that is one of the reasons he has to go. Gustavo, one of the things that I know a lot of people found so shocking was that joke about dead bodies piling up during Hurricane Maria. And this is a government that is facing a lot of criticism for its response to that storm. Yes, uh, but let's remember that a lot of that criticism was aimed to the federal government of the United States. President Trump got into a feud with the mayor of uh, San Juan somehow deflected the controversy, the internal struggle that this island had had for many years uh, economically. This island has had economic problems for many years, and somehow the governor had managed to stay above that controversy, trying to manage the post Maria uh, situation. Like I said, many people have told me they voted for him, they would have voted for him if he had secret relations, had not been for this text. They are 
are angry that uh, he hasn't acknowledged uh, the, the, his role on this text. He hasn't apologized properly. Uh, they say that the offensive nature of this text is what is bringing the people to the streets. And in a way, some of them have told me that they are bringing that frustration from many years of corruption, not necessarily just with this government, but this was uh, and the environment they've been living, uh, the post-Maria recovery that took so long and is still recovering in many cases. That, and then you put those uh, 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 texts revealed not long ago, that is what caused that uh, most people on this island is on the street, is supporting the people. I mean, uh, people when I flew in uh, from uh, Atlanta yesterday on the plane were telling me how upset they were, and everywhere we've been walking today, people are not happy with the government. Gustavo Valdez live amongst those hundreds of thousands of protesters in San Juan. Thank you. Just moments ago, CNN's Nick Payton Wall spoke with the mayor of San Juan. Here's part of their conversation. Well, this is a democracy. Why is this opposition movement so special that it doesn't have to wait for an election? Because the crimes committed by the governor are so horrendous that it cannot wait. So it it's impeachment wait. or it's just... It, it is impeachment. It is impeachment time. He's obstinate. His mental health isn't there. He doesn't want to resign. It's impeachment time. Leila Santiago, she's been on the ground there covering these protests. And, and Leila, I'm wondering if you could give a sense to folks as, as to how widespread these protests are now and what people are saying to you as, as to why they're coming out into the streets. Sure, we are on a major highway. This is the way into San Juan and the way south. And I want to show you what some of the protesters have just done. They are individually spelling out Ricky Renuncia, translation, Ricky resign, Ricky for Ricardo Rosselló, the governor of Puerto Rico. So many people have been telling me this is about respect, this is about dignity. They have had enough. I'm actually going to see if I can talk to one of them. Lisa! I'm going to actually try to talk to one of them to see if we can hear in their own words. Why are you here today? We are here to protest the injustice that this government has thrown upon us, and we're here to overthrow Ricky Rosé and ask him to resign. What does this mean specifically to you, though? Well, it means a um, disrespect towards my children, towards my family, towards my elders, towards my ancestors, towards our trust. Um, although we personally didn't vote for him, we thought that he could do something and he did, just didn't do nothing. And we cannot restore that trust in him because the damage has been done. Is there anything he can do to stop these protests beyond resigning? Well, let me ask you this question. If you had a daughter who went out, uh, who had a, was married to someone who constantly um, abused her, would you forgive him? And this is the same situation. There's just things in life that you cannot forgive. And this is a situation. This is one of them that the people and the people around the world know that this is a situation we just cannot forgive. Lisa, thank you so much. I appreciate hearing your thoughts. You can hear the pots and the pans banging. Uh, that is part of the protest today. I want to show you behind me uh, how the streets have been sort of taken over by the people here. These roads are now blocked. Uh, they will not be able to have business running around here, to have any sort of transportation. And you can see it does not really take that much to get these folks to continue to demand. Let me read some of these, these for you. Ricky Renuncia, that means Ricky resign. Demonstrate to uh, your children that you are a better father than you are a governor. That is the translation of one of them. A lot of flags out here today showing their patriotism, patriotism and sense of um, unity here today. Again, we have the trucks in the background, maybe hard to see, but on one lane, we have trucks blocking the road. There are cyclists here. There are older people, younger people. Uh, right now, an ambulance is actually coming by. And you can hear people cheering, essentially, as they continue to call for the resignation of the governor, saying this goes beyond some leaked chats. This is about getting rid of corruption for them. 
Layla, phenomenal reporting on the ground, bringing it all to life. Thank you so, so much.